Welcome to the Adventures into the Unknown. In today's video, I will share with you a review of the Rough Country Neoprene seat covers that I recently installed in my 2022 Toyota Tacoma truck. Now, I purchased these seat covers on Amazon for around $119 as I only ordered the front seat covers, which included the headrest covers, since my back seats are rarely used and, in fact, they are folded away most of the time. Now, I went with Rough Country as I knew the brand and they were affordable but not cheap. So, the seat covers arrived in a decent sized box and were pretty much ready to install right out of the box without any major creasing. So, there was no need to lay them out in the sun for a few hours before you actually install them and that was great. The actual install, however, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being easy and 1 being impossible, I would give a rating of around 5 or maybe 6. With that being said, for you gals that read the instructions first, well, you're out of luck as there are no instructions. For us guys, no problemo. We don't need no stinking instructions. Now, with that in mind, it would have made the install a little easier with a couple of simple labels when it came to identifying the driver's side seat cover versus, say, the passenger side seat cover. I think I got them correct, but I'm not sure what these flaps here are for. Perhaps they're for armrests or seat belts. Also, there was an access hole on this particular seat cover that I put on the driver's side, as I think it is actually for driver's side uh, seat adjustments. But in my case, it doesn't actually expose any of the adjustments, but it probably just really depends on what package you have and what year or model you have. Again, this is a 2022, and I have the adjustable electronic seats for this particular truck. However, I have seen some installations that do take advantage of that access hole. And speaking of labeling, the headrest could have come with a front or back label, but I guess that the tag which was inside usually goes in the back and I think that's how that works, at least it does with clothing as far as I know. And as you can see there are two pre-cut holes for the headrest once you get everything installed. So the most difficult part of installing the seat covers for me was clipping them into place. I had a heck of a time getting my hands under the seat to clip and cinch the straps together. Now I guess I could have just removed the seats from the truck or maybe just the seat cushion itself but I'm not that guy. Now, I think it's worth noting that installing these headrest covers, they actually require a bit of muscle as they were in an extremely tight fit. And so with that in mind, I would actually rate the overall fit of the seat covers and the headrest cover as an eight on a 10 scale. Again, with 10 being essentially a factory fit and one basically meaning they don't fit at all. And so I do think the fit overall is better than good, but just shy of great, and that's why I basically give it an 8. Alright, last but not least would be the overall functionality, and again, I would give a rating of an 8. The neoprene seems to be pretty durable so far. The dog hasn't been able to puncture it so far with her nails. The neoprene is also very easy to clean and it stays cool for the most part in our Arizona heat. Also worth mentioning the seat covers include the back pouch on the back of the seat so you don't lose that feature. And I guess at the end of the day the seat covers do look great. So I think that pretty much wraps it up for this review. Overall extremely satisfied. So if you're interested in more review videos in the future you might want to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video do me a favor spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. And until next time, remember, seek and enjoy. See you in the next video.